And so this is all like salty, sweet concept. Uh -huh. And typically people love caramel corn, especially in the fall. Mm -hmm. This is a little, we're gonna take it up a notch. Okay. Because caramel is made with like, you know. Sugar, 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 and yes. more sugar, right? Yes, but we're replacing the sugar mm -hmm. with maple syrup, the real That's stuff. That's what I find very cool about yes. this. Yes, So you have all of these wonderful um, like nutrients, like magnesium and potassium. Oh, there we go. Yes. Making it a little healthier. Exactly. <laughs> So we're gonna take until you put butter in it. Well, but you need that to make it sticky, right? <laughs> yes, and thick. Yes, okay. Yes, it's all. You know, this is a party. Yeah, I like to party. You do. So, so we have to do something bad. But anyway, but we're gonna put it in a huge thing of popcorn. So, okay. Um, we're gonna start out with about a half of cup of maple syrup. Okay. And we're. And we have that on the stove right now, boiling. Yes. And then once it starts to simmer a little bit, that's when you want to put. We're going to put a, a pat of, yeah, uh, two tablespoons, three, one. It really just depends on you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be dealing with a huge bowl of popcorn, so I want to make sure that I get a good coating. Yeah, you have a lot of mouths to feed exactly. for this party. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get it to boil. Now, here's the the trick. Yeah. We When we hold this little stirring spoon, we want to stir, stir, stir. We don't have to do that with this. Oh, we're okay. just going to let it sort of um, melt, and then mm -hmm. we're going to leave it alone for about two to three minutes, and mm -hmm. I've already had this going, so this is... And that burning smell is good. Yes. Do you smell a burning smell? It's like burning sugar. Yes. Okay. Because it's it's caramelizing. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> That's the caramel smell. So at this step, though, you should already have your corn popped? Exactly. Okay. That's really important that you have all of your things ready to go because uh -huh. you have a limited window to work with hot because you want to work with this while it's hot you don't want it to cool down and then work okay. with it okay so I'm and gonna... it's thickening up a lot now yes it's ready to go okay. and so you're gonna take your popcorn I did air pop but mm -hmm. you can use microwave if you like microwave you can use supreme now, this is what I think would be the tricky part because you don't want to crush all of that airy fluffy popcorn at this point you're not gonna crush so, it okay I'm not gonna let you because here's the, do you want to try it? Sure. Look at how, just go ahead and Oops. mix it up. I'm and already making a mess. You know what, you can make All right. as much of a mess as you like. And then, this is also a good time, like if you want to go crazy mm -hmm. and put some like turkey bacon in there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. really? Or nuts, or pretzels, or what anything. What about sea salt? A lot of people like to sea salt. salt and we're going to do that, because the next thing you're going to do after you get it nicely coated is you're going to put it on a cookie sheet. Uh-huh. You brought in lavender sea salt? Yes, okay. that's what we're going to use, okay. because that's the way I am. <laughs> let's, let's see it real quick, because we only have a couple seconds left. Yes. Lavender sea salt. So does that have the aroma of lavender? It does, and it has like a little bit of a taste of lavender. And oh. this is when you're going to salt it, when mm -hmm. your caramel is nice and hot and that salt is going to stick to it. You're going to give it a couple of minutes to dry, and you're going to serve it, and it's nice. going to be amazing. All right. Arena Lannis, thanks so Thank much for you. being here. Over to you guys.